it, it morphs in a way. It, it, it becomes, you, you leave certain things that you might have been so attached to. You embrace things that you didn't expect. And it, it becomes its own separate valid piece of work as does the script or, and or the source material. I have a hunch actually, I don't know how you feel about this, but I have a hunch that partly we're sitting here because our movies turned out better than we could possibly have imagined. <laughs> Is anyone's movie worse than they thought it was going to be? Not mine. <laughs> no, and it's, it's, it's funny how the amount of blood and sweat you put into a scene has no bearing on how it plays or not. Yeah. Some, scene, some scenes you wrote without even yeah. knowing you wrote them turn out to be really scenes, good sure. scenes. Mm -hmm. sure. And the ones, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, that there's no correspondence. So you have to let go of your own the the pain of creation. Mm -hmm. you know, well, sometimes there is correspondence and they do seem maybe a little more laboured, as it yeah, were, yeah, on yeah, the yeah. screen. Yeah. When you, yes. yeah, exactly. And I, I love promoting a movie as opposed to promoting a book. You know, because I've got this book that I wrote and, and I sort of... He's very humble. He just told me a story. We rode an elevator in Toronto together. I didn't know this <laughs> until today. And Steven Soderbergh was in the elevator with us. And so I said hello and introduced myself. And then he told me later, he said, I wanted to do that. <laughs> And I, I, I changed my mind about five times about introducing myself to Steven Soderbergh and then Jeff. I, don't, I didn't know it was him, obviously, so I wrote Precious. I'm like, I'm always beaten to it. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, he's the guy for that. Yeah, I introduced him to <laughs> Yeah, I'm going on holiday with Steven Soderbergh now. You just had a ride in a lift. <laughs> exactly, exactly.